Okay, so for this problem, let's see, we're given rainfall, overland flow, ET, subsurface storm flow, and we need to first calculate what the stream flow is. So let's see how to do it. We'll start off with a sketch. Here's the watershed in cross section. Here's the water table. Here's the stream. And we're given the precipitation and overland flow and subsurface storm flow and ET and we're asked to get the runoff okay the stream flow that's what I mean by RU the runoff okay so let's see I think the first thing that we'll do here is do a balance and we'll use just the whole watershed balance so the control volume looks like that and importantly the things that are crossing the control volume are the runoff the precipitation and the ET and the overland flow and the subsurface storm flow don't cross this control volume so we get that the precipitation coming in is equal to the ET plus the runoff and we're asked to calculate the runoff so we're given these two and we can we can then do that it's the rainfall of 50 inches minus ET of 30 inches and so the result will be 20 inches per year of um, runoff okay so now we know everything in the sketch and we'll take get rid of this control volume here and we'll go on to the next problem and oops took out a little bit more than I was planning on okay so now we need the base flow flux and let's see what I think we'll do here is to do a balance on Put the answer in there 20 inches per year always always uh, include the units with every answer we give and the base flow flux well for this we're interested in the base flow so we have to add it and now what we'll do is draw a control volume that goes like this the control volume is on the stream so we've got the base flow going in plus the storm flow which has overland and subsurface um, components those are coming into the stream and they equal the runoff going out so we can solve for the base flow that's going to be the runoff minus overland and minus the subsurface storm flow oops There we go. So let's see. The runoff we just calculated. So that's 20 inches per year minus the overland is uh, 2. And what else? The subsurface storm flow, which is 5. So that looks like we have 13 inches per year of base flow. Put that there inches per year.